I felt like let me talk about this place because somebody mentioned it to me and I wanted to try it out. So it's quite dark here. This is the time right here. It's to three in the morning. Okay, just so you can't pass right now. I'm trying this out because somebody told me about it. I'm going to, you know, an abattoir here in Accra and I just wanted to try it out. They say you have to go very, very early because they're kind of killing um cows they kill very very early in the morning so you need to go and get you need to be there before 4 a.m so they can you know because it's just caught and sell to people and the place is always very very crowded i was like okay let me try it out you know this morning and i'm leaving my house by 2 36 a.m so let me, i wanted to like okay let me just try it out so that i could you know mention it to people out there who are so so interested like you want to get things cheaper and no. all don't say i'm risking my life i don't think i am because people leave their houses as early as 4 a.m in lagos and nothing happens to them so i feel like cry is even you know calm her and so yeah family you know stomach something now we may we know what you or you guys know what we do to keep our families together and all that so let's let me try this out and see how it goes so this is 2 37 a.m in the morning so let's see i'm heading to go meet you know who told me about this then we go together then i'm going to be joining the taxi i'm going to just park somewhere because i don't know how you know the road to the place is like so let's do the taxi option first then maybe subsequently i'm gonna you know take the car there but i'm just gonna park you know in our own place we get so then we'll join the taxi because she has already made arrangement with the taxi man or a taxi man who knows the place because these people are not now so we don't know how to speak the language and a lot of them don't know how to speak english or you can't really communicate that much with them so get me going it's actually raining guys i'm surprised that the traffic light is on look at this shop opened at oh my god why is the traffic light on by 3 a.m usually you know all the traffic lights are deactivated but i'm surprised this one is on and i'm seeing a shop you know open by this time look at that guys the shop is opened you know it's really not good look at that shop open with the woman and her husband outside so it's raining and it's drizzling right now. I'm surprised that it wants to start raining again. Uh, I, I like the weather actually. Okay, so I'm going. It's raining. This is um, 2.42 a.m. in the morning. Look at how everybody looks. So guys, oh, I don't know why this rain just for now. I'm not happy with it. I just passed the police barrier, though there was nobody there, but you just see that, you know, police post, you know, of the barrier. And I'm close to our place. Look at how quiet everywhere is this morning. So, guys, I'm actually waiting for them. You know, don't mind me, hat ties half. Like, I'm going to the market. I don't need anything. And it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Who's looking at me? so i'm waiting for them to like come out the taxi because she already she's used to going there and i have never been there before so i'm waiting for them taxi man picks her then they meet me up at where i'm parked i have to park here so that i don't I, like i said i don't know so much about the place i need to go and see what the place looks like first before i i like okay i can do this thing alone or maybe next time i might also use the same taxi person it's just wanting to know my house but so let's see how the journey goes so this is a pass through 316 <laughs> and a lot of butchering is going on here. So this is the abattoir, eh? Yes. That place is big though. Mm. Oh past three in the morning and everywhere is already like this. I'm actually surprised. 
They've even butchered a lot of meat already. I think this place is actually close to the what, motorway. I don't really know the, you know, I don't. I've not been to this area before, so. But I think I'm close to the motor uh, motorway from here. dark yes it's midnight or well, this early hours so they have their cows here and they take it to the other side and they just take it down to where they get them killed look at the side they get them killed these trucks are loaded with meat already i think they are taking them to maybe some markets in town so this is it i'm actually shocked seeing this happen it's early this one truck, this another truck loaded with meat. So I'm seeing the guy bring another one. I put another truck behind. See that you're not dropping more. But then, if you don't know them, and the thing is that uh, the, what they do here, most of from here it goes to the market. The ones these guys are doing this as a killer, they have their own parts that they are entitled to. So that's the part they are selling. Okay. Um, so it's like a. My game. They said this one is going to Nima. This truck now. Then this other one at that side is going to where? <laughs> this one is going to where? Is that one there. Is that Ako. Ago Boshi. Ago Boshi. Oh, Ablo Bloshi. Okay, I know that. I, I've heard of the market, but I've not been there. Okay, then those other ones I saw in front. Other markets too. Eh? All these other trucks. That's why I say, eh? Where? London market. London. London. Oh, okay. That's good though. All these other ones, how much do they sell them? This one. Eh? Okay, well. This one the is the 70 pounds. 70? 70 pounds. 70 or 60. 60 pounds? 60 pounds. Okay, so you weigh it? Yeah. Okay, then depending. How much is uh, per? One pound, yeah, 13. 13? Oh, really? I buy 15 or 16. So. Okay, so 70 times. Let me, let me times it. 13 times. 13 times 70. So I'm just saying, if you come here by. 4.30 you're not going to see anybody here because they are done all the trucks loading to the different markets are ready to move you know just share the different markets see people standing to buy you know somebody with a bowl just buy your thing and you move they will actually you know sell to you of course a pound here is actually you got you heard it guy I was talking with he told me a pound here is three 13 cities in the market it goes as high as 16 so I think it's fair and of course you have occasions you have birthdays and you want to do something cheaper than maybe what you get out in other markets it's quite fair if you get here Hello. Huh? Hello. Hello. Down. 
So guys, look at what I got for 200 cities. This is quite big. I think let me put it back in this bowl so that you can see what it's like. <clears throat> Even carry it a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. You know, so look at it. Look at everything I bought. 200. In fact, when we even measured it, it was about 15 pounds. And trust me, you can't get this in the market, you know, for look at everything here. So this let me start bringing it out again. This and all boneless. In Ghana, this a different um price for a uh, meat with bone and there's a different price for meat without bone so you add this and then we add this long look at look at it we add this and this and then the very big one i'm even looking for where to carry it from you know all of this for 200 cities in fact it was 195 like i said like because it came out at 15 pounds and they sell each pound for they sell each pound for um, 13 cities right now so i think in the market you can get them at 17 18 you know tell me how much it's sold in the market where you buy but i know you can get for like that 17 or 18 CDs per pound so i have all of this for 195 cds so i think this is better it's very very cheap if you're going to that market ensure you know the language you must be able to speak the, yeah that's the house language if you can't speak it go with somebody that knows how to speak it just try it out especially for events i can use this now to comfortably cook for an event of Maybe a hundred persons, if not less than that, or if not more than that, you know. But I'm keeping this in the house. So I think this is good. So just have to cut. Of course, they're not going to do all that for you. But at least I love the fact that this is boneless, so I don't need to go through all that stress of cutting and all that. So what do you guys think about this? Is this cheap or it's expensive to you? But in my own, in my own, to me. Of course, I actually even saw, maybe the next time I'm going to be going there, I'm going to buy the cow head and the cow legs. You can get that for 300, 400, 500 and all. I saw different things, there, honestly, and I'm so glad I, I went and I discovered this place. So please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a share. This is a little secret for a lot of Ghanaian moms. It's a good secret. This is a good secret for a lot of Ghanaian mom. So give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like channel. Thank you, everybody.